Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to Day to Day with Ray with me, your girl, Ray Ray. So this is what we're going to do today because so many people have been watching this video and I've been getting positive comments. I get negative comments. So it was my very first one of my very first videos. It was my cake mix hacks videos. Like I said, I've gotten so many positive things I've gotten a lot of negative things um so and I'm always feel like not that I'm defending myself but I'm like look this is one of my first videos they're like oh we can't see what you're doing we can't see this we can't see that so I am remaking the video I'm still leaving me leaving my old one up but I will link this new video in my old one so people can see the new one and even for fun I of course have my apron on but I think I'm wearing the same shirt in the video so one of the complaints said the people said I kept playing with my hair so to fix that there we go my hair is out of my face it's not gonna bother me and hopefully it won't bother y'all I just look a hot mess so I actually have a cake to make um, it is a red velvet cake and I have, am of course using a box cake mix but I'm going to show you some steps and some tricks and some tips that I do that make my cakes extra special and people don't even realize that it's a box cakes mi cake mix so um, first thing is Here's some things I'm gonna tell you and then I'm gonna show you. So red velvet is basically a red chocolate cake. Um, but because the person doesn't like a whole lot of chocolate that I'm actually making this for, I'm only gonna put half a box of pudding in my cake. I put puddings in my cake all the time according to the flavor. Um, so I'm gonna do that with this also. Um, another thing that you could do for flavor now, I don't know if anybody has an Aldi or Aldi's, whatever you call it your way. I call it Aldi. It's A-L-D-I. They have, let me tell you something, and I am in a group on Facebook, a baking buddies group, and they all agree. Aldi's cake mix, this uh, Baker's Corner stuff, this is good shit. Let me tell you, this is some of the best cake mix now I had to not go to Aldi's to get their red velvet cake I don't even think they have red velvet cake I actually just grabbed this one because this was at my Dollar General um this is one of the best best cake mixes they're white and they're chocolate I stock up on their cake mixes so um so yeah now something that you can do with the white cake mixes um, a long time ago they had this thing and I did a video for it I think for my son's video where you take a box of cake mix and a can of soda which I don't have the can but let's pretend I have a can of soda right here and you just put the box of cake mix in with the can of soda and it bakes a moist delicious cake it does but it's a very crumbly cake because <clears throat> you don't put any eggs you don't put any milk anything it's just a can of soda and um, a cake mix now they had some that was like orange and um you put the grape in with the vanilla or orange with the vanilla and that's cool whatever but you can also add um sometimes if i make a flavored cake which i actually just made one and i should have did a video for it but i was just in a rush kind of sort of type thing um you take a box of white cake mix you still add your pudding and jello you wouldn't believe it jello makes some of the best taking tasting cakes i made an orange cream cake it was just a plain just slap some frosting on it with like marshmallow cream in it and um i prepared this as i'm going to show you today with the vanilla pudding and except for strawberry jello i had orange jello it was to die for okay let me tell you so whoops so um, I'm going to get things adjusted so you can actually see now what I'm doing and, um, I'm going to get everything prepared. I already have my oven preheated to 325. I always bake my cakes at 320, 325 and I already have my two pans, um, 
with the parchment paper I haven't sprayed them yet but I will um, spray them in a minute but I do have the parchment paper on the bottom I just took a little bit of water I like washed them out and uh, put them in there so let me get everything configured so you guys can see what I'm doing I will be back in one second okay so now that we're at a better angle hopefully you guys can see all right so of course let's open up our cake mix I'm gonna put that right there and get my skeezers and I'm gonna cut this now instead of just pouring the cake mix into the bowl that's not what we're gonna do I always can you guys see that let's move down a little bit I always sift my cake mix. So I'm going to put a little in. And if you think this is dirty, it's actually not dirty. Um, oh, shoot. Making a mess. Um, it really isn't dirty. It's just the enamel's coming off. This is just a dollar store thing. So I need to get a new one from the dollar store because I can hear people in the comments now saying oh my god she's using a dirty sifter you just want to do a, a little bit at a time and believe it or not sifting it makes it so much easier to mix by hand because you can use a hand mixer I don't when you do it this way you don't need to okay so oh and I did wash my hands too while I paused it because I have a little bit of some cooties okay so mix that I got that all I don't need that anymore okay so nice and sifted now like I said I'm not gonna add this whole thing of chocolate but I am gonna add some of it I'll probably do half Like I said, for normal cakes, I would normally put, I would put the whole thing, but I'm not going to do that with this one. Because this is actually for the teacher I work with. It's for her husband, and she wants me to make three different types of cake for her. So, and this is her way. She wants to, me to make her cake for their wedding reception. So, um, and cupcakes. So this is her way of letting him taste her cake. Okay. So we got the sifted cake mix and we have the pudding. So instead of putting oil, which I do still use oil, I always melt a stick of butter. So I'm going to melt this in the microwave I'm just gonna put it right in here I probably should chop it up just to get it a little bit more quicker all right I'm gonna melt this whoops and I will be right back all righty so I melted the butter and it's a half a cup which it does call for half a cup of vegetable oil anyway. So here is our half a cup of butter. Okay. Now, now in here, it says to use one and a quarter cups of water. No, no, no. I use heavy whipping cream if you don't have heavy whipping cream you can use um 
coffee creamer. You can use um, milk, buttermilk. I just like heavy whipping cream. So a cup and a half, quarter, a cup and a quarter. Okay. All right, and now I'm gonna pour this in here. Now, hold on to the rest of your heavy whipping cream because when I make my frosting, which over here on the stove you can't really see, I have my cream cheese and my butter out, so I always add a little bit in there. Oops, I don't know what my son just did, so I'm just going to start mixing this a little bit. And now, I'm going to start with my three eggs, one egg, two eggs, three eggs, whoops. Now, this is what the box calls for. This is not what Ray Ray calls for. I'm going to put four eggs. Now I can keep going and I can even put five, but I think four would be enough. So I'm just going to start mushing them and I'm just going to start mixing. And because the cake mix is sifted, couldn't think of the word, it's s -s 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 sifted. This is going to be a rich cake to mix, but it's also going to be fairly simple. Let's get this mixing. Come on, egg. Don't give me no issues. There we go. Come on. Everybody's probably like, yeah, that looks so simple, but it's not that bad. I hate mixing the eggs in. This is a very rich, very rich batter. Oh, I'm getting cake batter on the eggs. Look how thick that batter is. Look how thick, look, it doesn't even drop. Look at that. You can't, I'm telling you, this is a damn good, it's gonna be a damn good cake. All right, maybe I should have used my hand mixer for this. I forgot how, um, hard this can be sometimes but as you can see it's not impossible to mix with your hands so all right I do have a hand mixer but I really don't feel like getting it out to be honest to be honest Look at that. Yeah, buddy. Mm hmm. That's the kind of cake you want right there. Didn't take too long to come together at all. That, my friends, is a damn good cake batter right there. Okay, so 
I got my pans. And I'm doing a small six inch. Now, this is what I use. Um, this is the Dollar Tree version of, I guess, Pam with a uh, flower in it or whatever. You just shake it up. And when you spray, it looks like um, flowers in there. They don't carry this anymore. <coughs> which sucks. Because <coughs> it's such a good cake thingam bobber. Now, normally what I do is I get my ladle. And you just pick it up like that. See, look, it's not even there. And just plop it in there. Look at that. I don't even know if you guys can look how thick that is. Now I'm going to fill most of this pan up because this is the bigger pan. Sorry, you guys probably can't see what I'm doing. But if you need to know how to put it in a pan, then I don't know what to tell y'all. <clears throat> Let's see. Come on now, spread out, spread out. Drop it like it's hot. Level it out. Put the rest in this pan. I don't think there's enough to really scoop in here. <clears throat> All right. Scoop it, it's scooping it. Get in there and then just get the rest out of the bowl because this will just be another added layer. <clears throat> now, because this cake is much richer and thicker, it does need a longer to bake so I usually it takes probably about 45 minutes 40 to 45 minutes to bake this cake most likely so <clears throat> so yeah all right, let me get, uh, I'm just going to spread this out. I'm just going to spread it with the spoon. This is going to be a very small, thin layer. And I'm going to get these in the oven. There we go. And I'm going to clean up real quick, and I will be right back. All right, so that is basically it. That is my cake mix hacks if you guys like it um like the newer version where you can actually see what i'm doing please give me a like thumbs up share and subscribe um i'm not gonna make uh <clears throat> the frosting because you can find any cream cheese icing frosting anywhere i don't do anything different than and any other YouTuber or anybody else um, does. I actually, my favorite cream cheese frosting is from Cookies, Cupcakes, and Cardio. I use hers and I use uh, 
Crouton Cracker Jacks, um, his YouTube channel. I use his sugar cookie recipe, so I'm not going to make my cream cheese because anybody can make cream cheese frosting. Um, or just buy the can if you're super lazy. <laughs> um, uh, what I'll do when my cakes come out is I will let them cool. I'll put them in the freezer, and as they are in the freezer, that is when I make my icing and because my cream cheese is cold I just have it on the stove um since the oven will be on it'll get warm and get up to room temperature fairly quickie quickie <laughs> quickly um so yeah that's all I have for you today so I hope you guys enjoyed the new updated version of cake mix hacks with Ray um so remember to be kind and <clears throat> um, be kind because you don't know what kind of battle someone's going through. Don't be a dick. Peace, love, and happiness to everyone. And just bake a cake. I just be happy and bake. It relieves us so much stress. All right, guys. I love you. Thank you guys for watching so much. And I'll see y'all later. Bye.